For this experiment, you're going to need a power pack, two crocodile clips, some paper clips, a range of materials, copper, a brass screw, an aluminium rod and an iron rod, nail, some wire, a rheostat, which is also called a variable resistor, an ammeter and a shunt, and four leads. Firstly, take the green wire and the iron nail and you need to twist the wire around the iron nail. This is mine. You can see that I've left the ends of the wire pointing out so that we're going to use them later. Set up the circuit like so, with a lead connected to the rheostat. Notice to the top of the rheostat and then another lead out from the opposite side at the bottom and then through into the ammeter and then in series around to a crocodile clip. Then we have another crocodile clip which feeds back into the power pack. So we have a series circuit with a rheostat, an ammeter, two crocodile clips and our power pack. Now we're going to take our electromagnet that we've just made and we're going to connect it to the crocodile clips. So each end of the wire is connected to a crocodile clip like so. The next bit is very important. We want to investigate how the current affects the strength of the electromagnet. But we don't want to use too high a voltage, so we must turn our power pack down. If we use too high a voltage, then the electromagnet will end up with too much current flowing through it and the wire will get hot and it'll be dangerous. We're going to instead use this, the rheostat or variable resistor, to change the current. You can see if I move the rheostat, the slider on the top of the rheostat along, then I can change the current. Increase and decrease. I want to know how the strength of the current affects how many paper clips my electromagnet can pick up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my voltage to 4, switch on my power pack, see what my current is, maybe make a note and see how many paper clips I can pick up and record that. Then I'm going to move the rheostat which changes the current and see how many paper clips I can pick up. Now, I'll count them, make a note and then write a conclusion. Then I've got two more investigations that I want to do. I'm going to see if reducing the number of turns makes a difference to the strength of the electromagnet. I think you want to make sure that it's halved, so you'll need to unwrap half of the wire around the electromagnet. And you want to see if using a different metal as the core makes a difference to the strength of the magnet, which would be measured by how many paper clips it's able to pick up. You must remember to keep the current and the rheostat the same in order to test this fairly. So there's my electromagnet where I have fewer coils wrapped around it and here's my electromagnet wrapped around the aluminium core. So we have aluminium, copper, brass and iron. After you've done your experiments I expect you to write a conclusion in your book. How does the current, the number of turns and the material that the core is made from affect the strength of the electromagnet.